But what I wanted to talk about, because there's so much going on on this show, is the Mike Awesome appearance. Allegedly, Paul Heyman said that he had a contract, and Awesome didn't believe he did. Jeff Jones would say Awesome uh, was offered a contract but never signed it, so therefore it wasn't binding. Uh, that's at least what Mike Awesome told him. And Mike Awesome had never missed a shot. But the weekend prior to this, he missed the first house show of the loop. I believe it was Friday night. And, uh, it was blamed on him missing an airplane and it really not considered all that alarming because he'd never missed a show before and maybe he was due. So it wasn't, you know, anything necessarily to get worried about the next day though, uh, allegedly, according to the observer, uh, Mike awesome did not show up on time. So Jeff Jones called him and said, oh, he just landed at the airport. He's on his way, but he'll be late, but, but he's coming and he, he, he never made it. So people have sort of figured out what's coming and allegedly on Sunday, uh, Paul Heyman tried to get a protection order, a restraining order to keep Mike awesome from appearing. That was not successful. He starts the back and forth and Paul Heyman would apparently leak to the observer that there was a six figure settlement rumored to be $300,000 and other concessions like the belt will not appear on TV and Mike awesome will not appear in ring gear. He'll appear in street clothes and it'll be, you know, a, a cash settlement, a cash payoff to ECW. And he's going to be available to drop the title in just a few days at an ECW event. Eric Bischoff denies every bit of that. It says that's all total bullshit. What was not bullshit though, is that Bubba the love Sponge actually spoiled it earlier that day on Tampa radio, his Tampa radio show, where he said that Mike awesome was coming into WCW and had signed a contract as such. What do you remember about the Mike awesome debut and any sort of back and forth during the day about he has a contract. He doesn't have a contract. Okay. So you want to know what I remember about it? I mean, I know the answer, but go ahead. No, no, no. Here's what I, I do remember this part. Here's what I remember about it. I remember him rolling in the ring and Terry Taylor saying in my ear, that's Mike awesome. The ECW heavyweight champion say that. And that's when I knew I didn't know Mike awesome was rolling in the ring. I didn't know what to say when he rolled in the ring, but I was told to say that. And that's what I remember about that. I didn't know about Bubba the Love Sponge. I didn't, I would, did, obviously, I never read The Observer. I stayed away from that shit. And that's what I was told. And that's how I found out. So, do you think um, that that was a little bit like the end zone Kaz thing for you, where all of a sudden you don't know what's going on and then it just shows up? I mean, you were usually smartened up beforehand, but they were keeping that one from you, right? Right. Yeah. They kept it from me. Um, yeah, that was, that was somewhat like, like that, I, I guess I, I mean, it, it's because, you know, I didn't, uh, I, I never did refer to ECW on, on our stuff. I didn't watch ECW as we have documented very well on this show. So, uh, it was, uh, it was kind of a surprise to me when Mike awesome rolled in the ring. I didn't even know Mike awesome was in ECW. Didn't. As, as you, there may be people listening to this podcast that are saying, you know what? That's bullshit. Shivani knew. I didn't know. I didn't know who worked for ECW and I didn't know he was the ECW champion. I didn't know any of the backstage maneuvering and what Heyman said and what Heyman leaked and what Bubba the love. I didn't know that because you know why? Because I didn't give a shit to me. That wasn't uh, to me. It, and I don't know if, if being, uh, out of the loop with all the smart shit was good or bad for me, but I always thought it was good for me that I would approach it just as a regular WCW guy. I was always out of the loop in that stuff. And that's the way I wanted it to be. Now, if they would have come to me and said, Hey, Mike awesome going to show up. We need you to say he's the ECW champ, but they kayfabe me on that. And that's fine. I didn't care. <laughs> 